well and ordered yourself a burrito bowl. They're really good. There's no question about that. But what's even better is that you can do it at home as well. Make it even a bit more healthy if you'd like to for yourself or for the kids. Lara Ritchie here with Nothing To It Culinary Center has got a great idea on how to do exactly that. An explanation. You see people do it. It seems super easy, but you know, you're like, hey, how do I do it at home? Right. And, and I do see, you know, people order these all over town. We have a woman on staff. I think I could probably, you know, feed her the worst news yeah. if I just gave her a burrito bowl first. Yes. And she'd take it well. But I thought, you know, for kids, instead of putting it into the tortilla where it might get soggy during the day and it can be sort of cumbersome to eat, why not have them be the designer of their own bowl? Yes. Okay. So, again, we're talking about setting up your kitchen pantry in your crisper with things and vegetables, proteins that they like. Right? Right. Because then they get to design it. You'll start off with rice as the base. I didn't do too much rice, and I'm using brown rice. Mm -hmm. I like to flavor this as you cook it, so you could put a little cumin, a little garlic, um, rosemary if you'd like, any sort of spice in there that's kind of fun for you that your kids like as well. So we start this as the base. I love edamame. I love. think they're absolutely beautiful. I find myself just snacking on these Me too. without reason or cause. Me too. So we'll add those. I'm adding a little bit of kidney bean. I was kind of tired of the black beans, thought we'd mix it up, sure. add a little color. What I hope you're seeing here are all the colors that we're adding. So we are constantly telling our kids, eat the rainbow, because yeah. we know this is where our nutrients, our minerals, our vitamins are going to lie. Absolutely. I've got some grilled chicken. It could be shrimp. Frankly, you have enough protein in here. You don't need to add another meat. Then we've got cheese, and you could certainly sprinkle this in now, because this isn't going to get damaged in the carrying of it, but I would keep your salsa and your guacamole on the side. Yeah, there's, there are those great uh, little dishes that you can get either, they have them in metal, they have them in a plastic, Tupperware, yeah. whatever, where you have the main dish and the two sides, yeah. and that's a great way um, to do guacamole and salsa sure. on the side, everything else in the middle. Yeah. And also, too, chicken from last night or whatever you may have. That's what I love about this is we're using things that we'll incorporate in another meal throughout the week. So it's not like it's a leftover. We're just repurposing those ingredients. So it's really going to do double duty for you. And frankly, I would take this to work for myself as well. Me too. So now we've got a double home run. This is a great one. If you'd like this recipe, you can find it on our website and our Facebook as well. All right, thank you both for that. Well, we have a new record high as of yesterday in Reno Sparks for yesterday's date. 94, the new high. 92 was the old record. We're going for a record again today. We'll talk numbers coming up.